Hello and welcome back to my bug monotype of Pokemon Expert Emerald. In the last episode, we defeated Roxanne at the Rustbrow City Gym after our beautiful light learned Mega Drain, the grass type move that's obviously quadruply effective against a lot of rock types. And then we moved down to Duford uh, Town down here on this tiny little island. And then we even managed to even fit in a quick defeat of Brawly here at the Duford Town Gym also. So a lot of things happened in the last episode, and in this episode what we're going to do is we are obviously going to find Steven, chat to him, uh, make sure everything's okay, and then uh, what we're also going to do is, um, so once we, uh, yeah, so once we, oh good, Ninkada can learn flash, that's really good useful for us. Um, so essentially Ninkada here is just our, uh, our HM slave, and we're not actually going to be using Ninkada at all. But yeah, no, so once we find Steven, we're then going to be able to move over to Slateport and hopefully take out the team Aqua slash Magma presence that's going to be around there. But anyway, so here we are. Uh, we are... It's always nice to find an escape rope, I will say. Uh, here we are in... Um, the Duford... I can't remember what it's called. Uh... Okay, so Gligar are um, obviously ground ground flying, the, that most bizarre of typing. Um, and we can't really do anything against, we have nothing super effective. But anyway, we're just going to keep uh, moving our way through. I don't expect to be catching any more uh, Pokemon this episode, unfortunately. Um, I had a look at the documents that uh, come with the download, and uh, there didn't seem to be anything too interesting there. But as you can see, there are Wild Aaron here, along with the uh, Wild Gligar. As we see, the Rock Smash, uh, places where you can Rock Smash. There's also an item just there, being an Everstone. Wild Sableye, so um, obviously a dark ghost type with no, um, no weaknesses at all. Um, Indeed, we used Sableye in one of our in our uh, Pokemon Sapphire when we actually went through uh, Pokemon Sapphire itself. Anyway, Wild Makahita as well. So lots of different wild Pokemon it seems around here, which is really cool. All right, so we're going to meet up with Steven, who is going to give we're going to give him the letter, and he's going to give us Steel Wing, and then uh, we're going to get him on the Pokenav, and he's going to head off. That's all we needed to do here, really. Um, I wonder, can any of my Pokemon learn Steel Wing? No. Obviously, the uh, if uh, one of our Pokemon turns out to be Scizor, which I am hoping to use, uh, that should certainly be able to use Steel Wing, and so uh, certainly should have an interesting use for it. As you can see, so that there are um, wild Ekans here. So we've seen Ekans, we've seen Mankey, we've seen Aaron, we've seen Sableye, we've seen Makuhita. We've seen a lot of different types of Pokemon just in this little area here. And as I said, um, yeah, uh, the list of where all the Pokemon are, where they can be found, is found in the documents that are given um, with the download, which is actually really, really useful. I love it when, um, not only when, obviously, you know, you've got uh, talented people who are talented enough to create excellent ROM hacks, as this seems to be. I mean, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, and I'm looking forward to continuing with it. But uh, it's always really, really good when uh, they don't... When not only do they help you out, but they also spend the time to actually gift you the information that you need in order to really sort of like, if you want to craft your own team, that you can. For those who want to have that information, and also they obviously make that information not necessarily public, but they give you the chance to actually look at that information. So... You know, you don't necessarily spoil it for yourself, should you actually just want to play through the game by yourself. But anyway, uh, we'll be able to um, meet up here with Mr. Briny, and we'll be able to uh, head off to Slateport City, past routes 107 to 109. And now, uh, as uh, Mr. Briny is uh, mentioned, we are certainly going to be uh, meeting up with Captain Stern. So we've got Sailor Huey here, um, thankfully we have healed up, so we are, we have a lot of help. We're in a really good position here, uh, it must be said. We're doing a lot of, uh, 
uh, obviously we are very much well over leveled compared to uh, where we might expect to be. And that's not necessarily a bad thing at all, as Beautifly is going to go also to level 26. Bug types uh, are known for having relatively low, um, uh, sort of like, essentially di diff different Pokemon level um, will ex will gain experience at different rates, so you, they have different max levels they can reach, and bug types generally have quite fast re uh, level curves, which is actually going to be sort of a benefit to us. At least I think that's true. I might be wrong there. Anyway, does the beach umbrella look like a giant flower? And then another one behind us. See, my inner tube is round. So we've got two tubers here, Lola and Chandler. And they've got a, ch uh, a star you and a Goldeen. So I think the Goldeen's more the issue here. Um, so we will, um, we'll Psybeam the star you because it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have poison type, it doesn't have its own psychic type yet, so it does not resist, and it's also the weaker of the two Pokemon. Uh, we're going to get some experience from the Goldeen, Psybeam is going to do well over half, which is good. Um, we are now confused, that's a bit of a pity, but we should be okay. Mega Drain comes in, takes out the Staryu, and then Dustox is hopefully going to be able to land a Psybeam on this Marrow, indeed he does. And again we can Mega Drain, down goes the Marrow, easy peasy, water Pokemon are actually... Uh, it's going quite nicely here. So we're gonna get if it looks if you look at the beach from the sky, it looks like a big flower garden. After I showed you my round in tube two. So I think, if I remember correctly, you can actually sometimes um Um what you can do is you can fight these sort of uh, these trainers individually. Anyway, so Roxanne is gonna ring out, so this is Roxanne of City. I heard from Brawley that you're moving up the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can't be. I promise I will shape up my gym so that you may challenge us again. I hope you will be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. So, yeah, so this is uh, something that was uh, introduced, obviously, in Pokemon Emerald. We touched on it at the end of the last episode. But um, when we go to our Pokenav, uh, we can actually go down to Match Core. And here we have lists of various um, trainers, including, like... Our rival May, we have our father, we've got um, we've got uh, gym leaders and Roxanne and Brawly, and then we've also got like two, um, just random trainers like Tuba Lola, Fisherman Elliot, etc. And the nice thing about this is obviously we can call them up for like a uh, rematch. So anyway, I still see more time before I can reopen the gym, but when I do, please visit my gym for a rematch. So as she says, we can get rematches. And you can also check, and she gives like a little uh, illustration of sort of like who these characters are. So for Roxanne, she has her strategy is rock type power attack. Her trainer's Pokemon is she prefers rock card Pokemon and she is a leader of a big gym, there's a lot of responsibility. Whereas if we go to Brawly, for example, he's got direct physical action as his strategy, fighting Pokemon rule. And the world awaits me as the next big wave. So yeah, so just little little things like that are really nice sort of adds to the whole thing. Now, um, something I never really noticed in Something I never did um, a lot of in Pokemon Sapphire was actually use the Pokenab because uh, even in Sapphire there is a um, oh I didn't see the second trainer behind hidden behind the uh, Parasol there but anyway we've got uh, Sailor Edmund and Chuba, Chuba Haley they both have um, they have uh, enough Pokemon actually yeah so this could actually be an issue we're gonna Poison Sting the Wingull and we're going to Gust the Wingull uh, it's important that we take out the Wingull essentially. Because um, obviously, as a flying type Pokemon, it has the advantage over us. So we take it out nice and early, and then he sends out a Tentacool, and a Zural is going to bubble, but uh, that doesn't even get stab, so that is going to do very little to us. So Beautiful, unfortunately, uh, suffered a decrease in speed. We can side beam the Tentacool, and we will gust the Azural. So Psybeam comes in, that's super effective, does a good amount of damage. Gust comes in on the Azuril and almost takes it out. Tentacle goes for Constrict and Azuril goes for Tackle. And now, like I said, um, there are some changes in types here. I'm going to wonder whether Azuril has changed type to Grass. It's just a, there's a small chance it has. And the answer is no, it hasn't. It's still a normal type. But anyway, so in comes the Marrow. Uh, this one we can obviously... Uh, Gust and Mega Drain. There we go. Cool. 
And we defeat uh, Sailor and Sailor and Tuba. Well, I learned how to swim, I think my Pokemon will become tougher, and I'm usually stronger than this. I'm just seasick as a dog. I'm a sailor, but. So we've got another Tuba here, Tuba Ricky. He's got a Chin Chow, um, which we want to poison sting. Ah, there we go. Down goes the Chin Chow, and he's also got a Swine Up, so Ice Ground. Um, Beautifly is both strong, is strong with Mega Drain is super effective because ice does not resist grass. Uh, but he's obviously weak to ice being a flying type, but uh, that's fine. So we get, uh, so there you go. Um, wants another wants another battle with us. I'm uh, getting famished from image tube, looks like a giant donut. So yeah, so, so this is sort of what we end up with. We will go there and do all the uh, the trainer battles that are around there. Um, I'm just going to quickly head up to uh, the Pokemon Center here in Slateport. But yeah, like I was saying, so uh, in Pokemon Sapphire, you actually do have um, something in your Pokenair, but rather than it be called Match Call, you have something called Trainer's Eyes, I believe, and it's very similar. So a lot of the um, a lot of you do get like uh, comments on like all of the. Um, on all of the gym leaders, you get like comments with these tubers as well. So like, you know, you can check a tuber and it can be like, I am gonna try hard. I wish I could swim without using an inner tube, for example, you know. So a lot of that will be copied over and will be the same in um, Ruby or Sapphire, whichever one you have, obviously. Um, but the thing is, is that um, obviously with Match Call, you actually have the option of actually ringing them up and actually asking yourself for a battle or they might ring you. Whereas before, you'd actually have to go into here and there might well be like a, there would be a little Pokeball sign next to their name and you would actually be able to use that and then they would uh, challenge you for a rematch. Well, that would let you, that would let you know that they were looking for a rematch. You can also look here and this will actually uh, show how our party Pokemon um, do in comparison to the, um, the five contest-based sort of concepts, being smart, tough, cool, beauty, cute, whichever ones are important. As you can see, our Pokemon are so low level that uh, we've really not specializing in any of the, um, in any of those. So anyway, we have Team Aqua all over the place, uh, but uh, we're not gonna deal, we're gonna deal with them pretty soon. First of all, we're gonna pop into here and we're gonna do all the battles that are located around here. So we've got to take on Beauty Johanna here, who has a Corsola. Uh, it's really simple for us to go into Beautifly here. And we'll just Mega Drain. We get all our health back, and uh, as well. We've got this guy as well. If you're looking for a battle in the Seashore House, you'll find no hotter trainer than me. He's got a Magnemite. Um, so we have nothing really for Magnemite. This is true. Uh, and Magnemite's going to be an issue, because obviously uh, we will have Magnemite when uh, we come to battling, um, when we come to battling, as it does not just try to learn Air Cutter, okay, um, wouldn't usually learn Air Cutter, so this is obviously a, uh, a change uh, to the, um, change to the moveset, and we can get rid of Gust here, it's a quite, 95% uh, attack chance is uh, pretty reliable. Going to be useful for the Marie. Obviously, here's the issue: we are weak to uh, we are weak to electric here, and so Thundershock does do a lot to us. Uh, I'm gonna hope that Mega Drain does enough, does a good amount. As beautiful, it goes to level 27, and wants to learn Wing Attack. Okay, so uh, each of our Pokémon can learn a new move at uh, 27. Dustox learning uh, Air Cutter and Beautify learning Wing Attack, which again is just a better version of Gust. But the issue for Gust is obviously the Gust being an a Gust being a flying type move is uh, not very effective against electric types, and we are very much going to struggle against electric types. We're just going to Air Cutter this Krabby. I didn't see what Pokemon that was. I'm going to assume it's a Water type. It is a Water type. We can Side Beam the Quillfish. Obviously, unfortunately, we don't get a uh, super effective. Um, sorry, we don't get the same type of attack boost with Sabine. But anyway. So, what do you have to say? You're scorching hot, those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied as showing me your hot streak. I want you to take these. We're going to get six soda pops, uh, which is really good. Uh, I'm just going to buy, uh, like. 
another six. I don't see any reason why not to. Soda Pop is actually a really decent item. Um, it does a good amount of healing uh, for its price, which is sort of what you, uh, what was, what we would be uh, looking for. So essentially, we've obviously got Lighthouse there. We've got the uh, Market, Azure Doll, Marrow Doll, Skitty Doll. Whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much. I'm the Energy Guru. So he gives us uh, vitamins. Uh, okay, so... What about you? You have to go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. Interesting, okay. See if you can get around these areas is full of white, even though it's like you can attack. Shopping where you can breathe the center of the ocean. Slateport is such a wonderful place. Do you know the TM secret power? And then if a wild Pokemon gets hurt, it hurts itself by chewing berries. Did you know that? So we're going to get the powder jar. I recently had a machine installed at the Pokemon Center for crushing berries. The berry crush machine are at the direct corner upstairs. Did you know? You can make berry powder for me using those machines. I can make you all sorts of medicine if you bring me lots of berry powder. Okay, that's interesting. I'll um, might have to investigate that, or maybe I'll I'll, I'll investigate it afterwards. Any hey, Pokemon you get in the trade can't change its name. The original trainer's love for that Pokemon is in its nick. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather, and where people gather, a market soon starts. That's how a town is born and grows. To get a battle tent is born it, it was made in Slateport. Gyms are fun, but the battle tent's awesome in its own way. You should go find tough Pokemon for the battle tent. So we'll have to see what the battle tent's all about. Um, looks like there is no longer a contest presence here in Slateport. So hasty nature increases speed. I don't know why it decreases. You. Did you know that do you know what they do with old ships that become too quick to scale? They sent them in the sea so they become habitats for Pokemon. The sea is just so vast because the sea has been made by the tears shed by Pokemon. That's a sad thought in its own little way. Very uh, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to uh, Oh are they Devon Goods? Captain Stone went off somewhere, he said he had some work to do. Can I get you to go find the captain's the captain and give deliver these to him? So yeah, so we need to talk to him, uh, that guy there, before the um, people will actually uh, move out of the way. All the team acrobats will move out of the way to allow us to access the museum. It floats because of principal called buoyancy. That's empty. There's nothing else going on around here. So just going to uh, get running. And yeah, as you can see, all of the team aqua grunts are now no longer around. Stern, the fellow who built the museum, also happens to be the leader of an underworld ex expedition team. So we'll, in we'll enter the Oceanic Museum. So we're going to get TM46. Which is Thief. Okay, so a dark type move. We exist for the good of all. Our boss, the Lynchpin, is now. I'm pretty sure Lynchpin is part of the Y, but anyway. Maybe that's already in there. If our goons didn't bungle things up in the Rust Borough, we wouldn't be here. So anyway, we're going to pop up here and we're going to be able to talk to Captain Stern here. And we're going to be able to give him the Devon goods. And then this guy, Team Aqua, is going to uh, tell us to fork over the goods here. So he's going to send out a Cacnea. And we are not actually... Uh, I didn't realize I didn't heal. But anyway, Cacnea is going to go down and then execute. So we're pretty fortunate, obviously. Uh, we've got uh, types there that really benefit us. But anyway... Let me take care of this. Ask this day, Mac, who sends out a ghastly. So, again, we'll just wing attack. It's our stab move. Base 60 power. He's got a shop it. Um, we'll stay in with Beautifly. Wing attack once more. That is a good amount. Unfortunately, we do hurt ourselves in confusion. But the curse takes up the shop it, so there we go. Now what? If we don't get the parts we're in for it, I think I'll be uh, meddled with by some meddling kid. 
We Team Aqua, love the sea. You're not one of Team Magma, wait, that can be right. You're not dressed for the part. So, so yeah, they're just going to talk, uh, go on and on about how, um, go on and on about how they love the sea and all that sort of stuff. And then Captain Stern's going to take the goods from us, which is really useful, um, and allow us, well, Scott's going to meet up with us again. I'm sure I met you somewhere before, I've introduced myself to you. If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stung. All right, let me guess who drove them away. Hmm, maybe, just maybe, this trainer. All right, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenaps. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do but I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you random. So... Scott is continually following us and seems to be very interested in our um, activities here. So you talk about trading. Yeah, can't just uh, do one Pokemon because type advantage. What about you? <laughs> you there, take this Pokemon egg. So we're just going to get an egg. What are you still doing here, Scrap? So random Pokemon. So this is the uh, name rater, who will help us change names. This is the battle tent. Going to be... So, uh, we'll certainly have to see what the battle tent uh, is all about. And we also have here... Pokemon Fan Club, okay. Your Pokemon really adores you. For you, are most compassionate to claim a gift from the fan club. So we're going to get a Soothe Bell. Um, so she seems to say that we, uh, our Pokemon really loves you, which is good. I'm a TV reporter. I keep travelling around. I wonder if you'll be bending to tell me. If... Yeah, don't really bother about like, that sort of stuff. I was, li I was lipping off with a swagger in my step like and the chairman chewed me out. Are you a me okay? So he's a move tutor. Um, he's the move tutor for Swagger. My poke my Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was lipping off with a Swagger in my step like that when the chairman chewed me out. That took the Swagger out of my step. If you'd like, I'll teach the move Swagger to a Pokemon of yours. Can't you get into the spirit of things? Okay, so yeah, so that's um, move tutor for Swagger, um, which is a move that obviously causes confusion but uh, raises attack of the uh, opponent, op opposing Pokemon. Yeah, okay, so still need to work on it harder, although previously we've been told that it, uh, our Pokemon loves us. So, interesting. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're here, level 27s, we have the egg. We're just gonna keep with the egg, because we might as well see what it evolves into. Ah, the name right I didn't mean to do that. So, now we'll go into the battle tent, and we'll see what's going on. So, anyway, Scott's here. Oh, hey, if it isn't random, random, let me guess. You're gonna take the battle tent challenge? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is a perfect fit for the battle tent. Give it your best effort. So, rather than contests, we have this. Let's have a look. I don't really like bug Pokemon, but maybe I'll try using some for a change of pace. You can battle all you want here, even if you don't have any tough Pokemon. So, like, I couldn't find any... So, like, I couldn't find myself any Pokemon that were, like, for me, so I figured, like, hey, I should file a complaint to the guy there, and he wouldn't hear me out, like, hey, so, like, Total Bone Man, hey, like you, zip it, you know, just, you know, take this. He's going to give us TM41. That's like TM41, you know. Hey, it's Torment, you hearing me? Like, it won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Hey, now, you listen here, like, I'm not laying a Torment on you. Okay, that was kind of painful. Anyway, Torment. So, uh, prevents a Pokemon from using the um, same move twice in a row. Again, none of our Pokemon can learn it. Wouldn't it be nice if they had more of a selection? So, let's see what the Battle Tent is all about. So, the basic rules. In a Battle Swap event, you may use only three Pokemon. Whether you are renting or swapping, your team may not have two, may not have two or more of the same Pokemon. Which heading do you want to read? You may swap Pokemon only with the trainer you have just defeated. You may swap for only those Pokemon used by the beaten trainer. After every battle you win, you may swap for one of your defeated opponent's Pokemon. You will be not able to swap Pokemon with the third trainer in the event. 
There are two key points to be aware of when swapping Pokemon. First, when swapping, you can't check the stats of the Pokemon you are about to receive. Second, the Pokemon on your team are lined up in sequence depending on the order in which you rented them. This sequence remains unchanged even when swaps are made. The Pokemon of the Slateport Battle Tent are all rentals. All rental Pokemon are kept at level 30. Okay, so it, does that mean everyone's at level 30? Would you like to take part? Uh, if we go to info. Here at the Slateport Battle Tent, we hold Battle Swap events using rental Pokemon. Firstly, you'll be loaned three Pokemon specifically for this event. Using the supplied rental Pokemon, you must conduct a single battle. If you win, you're permitted to trade one of your rental Pokemon. Repeat the cycle of battling and trading. If you win three times in a row, you will earn a fine prize. If you want to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save before interrupting, you will be disqualified. Okay, so this is very similar to what we saw back in uh, Pokemon Maze, uh, which I still got to complete eventually. Hopefully uh, we'll get a word on that being completion. But uh, yeah, essentially, um, yeah, we uh, similar to Pokemon Maze in that you, t you rent out three Pokemon and then your opponent has three Pokemon and you get the choice of swapping for one of their Pokemon each time. First, we will hold your Pokemon for safekeeping. You may then choose from our selection of Pokemon. So, our rental Pokemon include a Beautifly, a Swablu, a Magikarp, a Ralt, a Curlia, and a Ninjask. So I think I'll take the uh, Beautifly. Oh, sorry, let's have a look at the summary. So Beautifly has Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Gust, Harden. Uh, you have Sing, Peck, Steel Wing, Safeguard, Tackle First, Bash, Hypnosis, Imprison, Psychic, Dream Eater. Calm Mind, Confusion, Double Team, Growl, and Fury Cutter, Screech, Swords Dance, Double Team. Okay, so uh, we will take out the Curlia. We will take out the Ninjask. And we'll take out the Beautifly. Just for now. Obviously, you know, we, we get the choice of changing them. So obviously if we come across a Rock type, we might... Uh, I'm angry with my father. Lastamia is going to send out a Cacnea. Okay, so... A dark... Uh, no, not a dark type. Not yet. At the same... I'm pretty sure you're not dark type yet. At the same time, I'm just going to go into the Ninjask here. If it is dark type, Fury Cutter is going to be devastating. And so we're going to get uh, that uh, lovely bit of... Uh, speed boost, which is always helpful. Um, we'll swap back into our Curlia here. We're going to Confuse Ray. Hopefully we'll land a Confusion. We don't. There we go, land a Confusion. Yes, confusion. There we go, down goes the Gold Bat. And next, Nuzleaf. Now, are you a good Dark type? I think, I think Nuzleaf is a Dark type, so I'm going to go back into Ninjas. If it is, Fury Cutter should be quadruply effective, and indeed goes down. We do get the crit. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, so, uh, let's have a think. So she had Cacnea. Uh, I, sh I definitely should have remembered this. Uh, Cacnea. Golbat. Golbat was the thing she had. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're not going to swap. Not for the man. We'll see. What will I be tomorrow? So, Aroma Lady would like to battle. She's got a Breloom. Um, so we can Confusion here. It is super effective. Down goes the Breloom. She's got Makuhita. Failed it. And Belly Drum Makuhita and a Lombre. So I'm just going to um, Calm Mind. That's fine. We can go to our Ninja Esk here and we can Fury Cut up and let's go to take out. So this time I'm going to swap out the Beautifly. Uh, swap for. So I kind of want the Breloom, but at the same time I do want the Lombre. We'll, we'll take the Lombre. A little Petal Dance to please you. So, battle number three. We've got Swimmer Kendall here. Sends out a Cacnea. Uh, let's just see. It is... Okay, so it's not... That's obviously uh, 
proof that a Cacnea is not a dark type. C dot definitely isn't a dark type, it's just a, it's just a grass type. With synthesis and leech, so leech seed and synthesis is what this uh, C dot has. And then a Lotad. There we go. And down goes the swimmer. So, congratulations, you've won three straight matches. I will return your Pokemon and take your rental Pokemon. I must also save your event results. In recognition of your three win streak, we award you this prize. We get a full heal. Okay, so it looks like, so obviously, uh, we could just continually get different items by doing that. I think uh, it's probably no point in us doing that, but obviously it's, it's, it's fun to try each of the events while they're there. There looks to be a completely wild Eevee just uh, waiting for us to capture it. So there's no ferry service. One guy's too big to go on the underground. I'm just brushed. I hiked over from Morville City, but boy, this city is huge. If I'd known it, I would have ridden my bike here. So, yes, yeah, so we have a wild Eevee here, a level 20, um, which we can try and catch. We'll get uh, that. Um, we can go into our uh, dust ducks here and we can poison sting. We have no risk of poisoning. And, well, actually, like I've said, I've said before, these things are actually just free experience. I don't know even why I was trying to catch it. Anyway, there we go. So, we have caught... Um, sorry, we to take care of that Eevee. Make a beeline for Morville on the second road, I'll take the low road and look for Pokemon. So, we obviously have, um, oh, we meeting Professor Birch. I'm just seeing you here, and where might my baby? Oh, I see, you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokemon has the magical system installed. Well, then I should register you and my Pokemon as well. That way, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex any time. Random, please keep an eye out for my mate. Well, I'd better get going to see you again. Who's obviously a bit worried for his daughter. Which is fair. Or assistant. Is it? Yeah, his daughter. I'm pretty sure his daughter in this game. So anyway, uh, here we are. Slateport City, Route 110. We have Wild Snow Run here on Route 110. So, uh, obviously, um, wow. I'd like to land an attack, please. Thank you. Reduce Fly Ghost to level 28. Um... So we've got Wild Snow Runt. Uh, to be fair, we actually have quite a lot of Route 110 to do. Actually, here we have a double battle. Aha! Aha! I'm sorry, I would have to go. I'd go anywhere to show off my delight for Pokemon. When cute Pokemon help each other, you want to see a more adorable sight. So we've got two Pokemon fans here, Isabel and Caleb. They have a Pichu and a Magby. Uh, we're definitely going to Air Cutter and Wing Attack the Magby. So Magby goes down, and unfortunately we get fl uh, we get burned. Uh, uh, Caleb's going to bring up the Smoochum. We're going to Air Cutter. It's going to be uh, not very effective on the Pichu, but it is going to be neutral on the uh, Smoochum. We can Air Cutter once more, and we can Mega Drain. Uh, probably the Pichu's better. Hope that whatever comes in is a uh, weak to uh, flying. And we're going to see the Iggly buff. Okay, so lots of lots of babies, obviously. Uh, we can expect Clatter and Elicud to be the final ones. Confusion comes in and is super effective. So we definitely want to take care of the Smoochum. Uh, we definitely want to get keep getting health back off these uh, baby Pokemon. Down goes the Iggly buff. In comes the Clatter. Air Cutter comes in. And obviously we get the Elicud. And now we're going to air cut it once more, and we can Mega Drain the Alakid. So Cleffer avoided the Wing Cutter, which is fine. And down it goes. There we go. Have you no compassion or pity? I'll have you as my captive audience as often as possible. Rather than battling, perhaps I should show off my Pokemon at Fan Club. Okay, okay, you've done the best you could, my pretties. 
So the idea here is, um, I think what we'll do is uh, we will get to the battle with May uh, along Route 110, uh, under here, we'll get along to that battle first. I don't have a bike, so I'll take a leisurely walk on the low road. We have the Trick House, which we never actually completed in our um, Ruby Sapphire play, uh, with our Sapphire playthrough, so maybe I should uh, try and remember to do that. But anyway, I should have put, I sh should have back it, to be honest, but anyway. There we go, down goes the uh, Ivy Saw, as Dostox goes to level 28. The next Pokemon is the Bayleaf. Which again we can air cutter. Oh, we miss. And we land. There we go. Good, good. So, aromatherapy is a form of mental healing that works with fragrances. We've got another double battle. Um, just seeing that coming up. I'm just going to heal up quickly. So, you guys, so we live, we battle together as one team. Says Amy and Liv, they are twins, they have a Plusle and a Minin. So that's not ideal for us. Uh, we can Mega Drain the Plusle and we will Psybeam the Minin. As they're going to use Helping Hand. Minin's going to go for Quick Attack. Mega Drain's going to do a decent amount, Psybeam is going to do much less. Mega Drain will hopefully take it out this turn. Uh, we will again Psybeam the Minin. Mega Drain goes, takes it out. There we go, good. So Beautifully now we'll Mega Drain the Minin and we can Psybeam. Down go, down they go. Easy peasy. Really, we're a lot better. It's true. We'll show you next time. We work together. You have to think about all kinds of things when you're battling against two trainers. Got another poker fan here, Miguel. He's got a snow runt. Uh, so we will wing attack. AC wind is obviously super effective, um, but we take him out in two hits. I'll get you to come out and look at my delightful Pokemon again. So as you can see, yeah, a lot of all of these Pokemon, all of these trainers uh, want to uh, battle us again. We've got a uh, fisherman Andrew who has a Feebas. We will Mega Drain get all of our health back. Down he goes. He's even more annoyed now. And then you, if you cross the sea from here, you'll be a shortcut to Old Old Dale Town. That's useful, isn't it? If you want to get to Old Dale Town, I guess. So obviously we have a double battle here. Well, how do you get into a space this small? Did my guitar's wailing draw you in? So we've got Black Belt Rhett and guitarist Marcus. They only have two Pokemon. They have a. Uh, uh, we can. What's best here? We'll Mega Drain the Volt Orb and we'll Air Cutter. Mark Punch comes in, does not do a lot. Tyrogue missed. Uh... And only uh, Tyrogue managed to avoid the uh, Air Cutter there. But anyway, there we go. Down we go. And we defeat them too. Kids can rock. My one man show is ruined. I was playing with my guitar when. Where few people were around, but a lot of fans have gathered. Maybe I should turn pro. Do you like cramped quarters like this? As we're going to find a PP up, and then we're going to make our way around here. We get some cherry berries, some leopard berries, and the guard spec. So rather than doing the trick house, we're going to be able to keep heading this way. I don't know if bikes will take a little walk on the lower. I've already spoken to you. We're gonna get a dire hit. So, we've got youngster Timmy here who has an Aaron, which we will Mega Drain. I did not see what Pokemon that was, but I'm gonna go into Blast Ops. It's a Boltoy, okay, so. Ground Psychic, uh, we'll just Air Cutter. It does know the Rock Tomb, so it's a good thing that we got out of there, because obviously Rock is super effective against. Uh, uh, sorry, is quadruply effective against a uh, Butterfree, and is obviously doubly effective against our uh, Dust Dogs here. And there we go. Start to battle with Pokemon you just caught. So, uh, normally we would be battling against May just there. I think we will... Yeah, we'll finish with the battle, so we might as well. 
Uh, we've got. Should have. We've got one potion. So we use a soda pop to heal up our dust dogs, and now we'll take on May. So, hey, random, no long, long time no see. How about a little battle? So, she's going to start off with her skitty. Uh, we're going to start off with our butterfly here. We can wing attack. Uh, it's going to do a bunch of damage. Uh, we are mobilized by love. So, uh, we are definitely getting the hell out of here because we were also uh, leech seeded. Uh, which is never fun. We're going to air cutter here. I should take out the skitty. Down goes the skitty. Just going to send in a Talo. So this could be obviously an issue for us. Um, being a flying type. We will stay in. And we'll start off by side beaming. That does just under half. Goes for the agility. Lands a wing attack. She's going to soda pop up. We're going to get a crit. We even get confusion which is really nice. Wing attack does come through, but we land the poison sting and down she goes. Next Pokemon is a Shroomish. We'll stay in and we will air cutter. Down goes the Shroomish. And then her final Pokemon is a Grovile. So she actually has two grass types on her team, which is uh, kind of unfortunate for her. We get a super effective thing. Goes for the pursuit. That's not going to take me out. We can poison sting just to. In and then we'll air cutter. And if we land it, which we do, the Grovile goes down. We defeat our rival May here. And she says that we've been uh, busy training. She gives us the item finder. And she tells us that we should meet again. So that's going to be it for my playthrough of, uh, for this episode of my playthrough for my bug monotype of Pokemon Expert Emerald at the moment. We still only have two Pokemon on our team, being our Beautiful Light and our Dust Ox. But we are getting ever closer to increasing that number with... Um, the routes coming up ahead. Uh, essentially, if we once we beat Watson at Morville and we get Rock Smash, we should be able to get quite a few uh, new encounters, hopefully. And then, because uh, I know that um, we should be able to get some new encounters over here in routes 114, 115. So, until then, um, and actually, I think we do get another encounter around route 111, maybe as well. So, but until then, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my playthrough. And I hope you will join me on the next.